Minecraft has a lot of secrets, from secret rooms, secret mobs, and much more. Today, we'll be going over the most insane secrets that you can find in the brand new Minecraft 1.20 update. In the brand new Minecraft 1.20 update, you can actually discover the brand new Trail Ruins, which is a mysterious structure that will randomly generate around your world. Though, what most people don't know is that the Trail Ruins actually have some secret lore behind them, with you being able to find four secret party shards inside of it, that being the Burn, Danger, and the Heart and Heartbreak pottery shards. What these shards mean is unknown, but the shards are most likely connected to the reason why the trail runes are now abandoned. Did you know that there's a brand new secret room in desert temples? You can actually find some sand on the floor near the left side of the desert temple. You can actually uncover a secret room with some suspicious sand inside of it, with you being able to find some good loot inside of it like TNT, emeralds, and even diamonds. Going back to the topic of ceramic shards, there's actually many references to certain things in Minecraft on them. For example, the danger shard represents a creeper, the howl shard is a dog, the mourner shard is the warden, and the snort shard is the sniffer. From this, we can make the assumption that these mobs existed back in ancient times, with people drawing their discoveries on the ceramic shards. Minecraft 1.20 has introduced a brand new extremely rare item, that being the Silence Armor Trim. This armor trim is the rarest armor trim in the game, only having a 1% chance to spawn in ancient city chests. On top of the odds being super low, you have to find it in quite possibly the most dangerous place in the game, so not many players will be getting this secret item. Speaking of armor trims, some armor trims actually have some secrets behind their pattern. There are actually many examples of this. For example, the Eye Armor Trim represents the Eye of Ender, which definitely makes sense as it's found in the Stronghold. There's also the rib armor trim which resembles the wither skeleton, the snout armor trim that is the piglin, the spire armor trim which looks like shulkers, the vex armor trim which looks like an evoker, and the silence armor trim which is supposed to look like the insides of a warden's chest. Did you know that amethyst blocks now have a brand new secret feature in Minecraft 1.20? By placing an amethyst block right next to a skulk sensor and then making more of them a couple blocks away from the original, you can actually create a vibration reticence when making sounds. This makes it so noises will now travel much more further when a skulk sensor is now placed to an amethyst block. There's a secret achievement that you can also get in the brand new update. With every Minecraft update, many new secret achievements are added, and 1.20 is not an exception to this trend. 1.20 has three new secret achievements just revolving around the sniffer. You can get an achievement by finding a sniffer egg, feeding a snifflet, and planting a sniffer seed. You can also find four more achievements by getting a pottery shard, making a pottery pot, crafting trimmed armor, and by using at least eight of the following armor trims. These brand new achievements are definitely interesting and will be fun to get. Going back to talking about trail ruins, in the trail ruins you can actually find some more secret loot. By brushing off suspicious sand, you can actually find four secret armor trims, that being the Wayfinder, Shaper, Host, and the Razor armor trim, making the Trail Ruins the structure that has the most armor trims in the game. So if you're ever in need of armor trims, the Trail Ruins may just be your best bet. Speaking of secret things about armor trims, there are actually many more structures that you can find secret armor trims in. You can now find armor trims in Bastions, Shipwrecks, Desert Temples, and more. But the two most interesting structures have to be Strongholds and Ocean Monuments. In the Stronghold Library, there is always an 100% chance to find the Eye armor trim in each chest, making it one of the easier armor trims to get a full set of. Though in Ocean Monuments, you have to kill an Elder Guardian to get the Tide Armor Trim, which only has a 20% chance to drop when killed. The Sniffer is a brand new mob in Minecraft 1.20, though the only way to find a Sniffer is by finding a Sniffer Egg and then hatching it yourself. Typically, it takes a while for Sniffer Eggs to hatch, though by placing a Sniffer Egg on a moss block, it'll actually only take 10 minutes, which speeds up the process by a lot. Science now have two brand new secret features. Starting off, you can now edit science after you've placed them down, so if you mistype something, it's extremely easy to fix it. Now you may be wondering, wouldn't it be really easy for other players to edit signs now? And you would be right. However, Mojang added another feature where if you put a honeycomb on a sign, it makes it so nobody can no longer edit it. These two secret features will make signs a much better block in Minecraft. Camels are also another brand new mob coming to 1.20. What most people don't know is that camels can actually jump super far, being able to jump up to 12 blocks, which other mods you may use for transportation like horses cannot. Not to mention that the fact that two people can ride camels. It honestly seems like the camel is definitely a pretty good travel method in Minecraft. In Minecraft 1.20, the ability to have potion effects infinitely through commands has been added, which this feature actually allows players to extend the duration of potion effects beyond this default limit. You can do this by pressing the infinite option when applying an effect. Being able to have the option to have potion effects infinitely through commands is definitely a welcome change that is going to be very useful for many players. A new feature has been added to note blocks, where if you place a mob head above a note block, the mob's head that is placed on the note block will actually play. So for example, if I place a dragon head, an ender dragon sound will play. This will definitely make for some pretty insane builds in the future. Calibrated skulk sensors have a secret feature that most players don't even know about. You see, these special skulk sensors have the ability to only hear certain sounds. By placing a comparator in a lectern like this, and then redstone going out on the other side of it, then write a book with 15 pages in it and put it in the lectern. Then by turning on a certain page, the sensor will actually detect something different. For example, if I turn to page 12, it will only detect certain blocks that are being broken. The difference between the skulk and the calibrated variant is, is that the skulk sensor can hear everything, while the calibrated variant has the ability to only hear one specific sound. This 
Fog is definitely going to be really overpowered. Desert Wells are most commonly seen as one of the most useless things in Minecraft, though in the brand new 1.20 update, they are actually somewhat useful. This is because you can now find suspicious sand in Desert Wells now, and from brushing it off, you can actually find some pretty good items, from pottery shards, suspicious stew, and even some emeralds. So the next time you find a Desert Well, maybe think twice about walking past it. Going back to talking about Sniffers, did you know that the Sniffer actually has some lore behind it? Well, from what we know, the Sniffer is actually a mob that lived in the Minecraft world a long time ago, though due to unknown reasons, the mob ended up becoming ancient and can now only be found through eggs and ocean ruins, so this mob definitely has some mystery surrounding it, but hopefully we'll be able to find out the truth about this ancient mob. Going back to the topic of great commands being added to 1.20, you can actually now fill biomes in the brand new update. For example, let's say you want to have snow in a desert biome. Well, by filling the area you'd want the snow to be in, you'd actually make it a snow biome and then it will actually snow. You can actually make a lot of cursed combinations with this, like the nether sky in a cherry blossom or even snow in a jungle biome. If for some reason you ever wanted that, now you can. Armor trims are a great and welcome new addition to the brand new update, but what most people don't know is that you can actually put armor trims on turtle helmets, which is actually a pretty cool touch. You can also even use materials that aren't used on armor, like quartz, amethyst, and even emeralds. As with every Minecraft update, the title screen has actually changed, but did you know that the cherry blossom background in the title screen is an actual Minecraft world? By putting this seed in and then teleporting to these sets of coordinates, you can actually find the title screen. This seed was found by the Minecraft at home team in less than 24 hours after this update came out, which is extremely impressive. Another thing about the title screen is that the Minecraft logo has actually been updated to look a little bit more clean. Personally, I like this logo more than the old one, but let me know what you think in the comments. A brand new mob head has been added to the game, that being the Piglin mob head, which will most likely become one of, if not the hardest mob head to get. The only way to get it is by getting a Piglin to come to the overworld and then having it killed by a charged creeper, which is not an easy task. Though this mob actually has a pretty special feature, as when walking with it or activated by redstone, it'll actually flap its ears just like how Piglins do. Minecraft has also added a brand new secret music disc. This new music disc is only obtained by finding it through archaeology. This new music disc is called Relic, which definitely makes sense considering how you find it and how it looks. And considering how it sounds, it definitely has some sort of connection to the lore of the other music discs, which is definitely interesting. Speaking of music, a ton of new ambient music has been added just for a few special biomes. Those biomes being the Cherry Grove, Desert, Jungle, Badlands, and even Flower Forest. Also, did you know that you can actually make a working piano now in Minecraft 1.20? With the brand new commands that have been added, players have been able to make some really insane things. One of those things being a working piano. A player by the name of Roko made this, and this is a pretty interesting secret and can spice up Minecraft worlds a lot. Now let's go over some concept art. Did you know that the original idea of the sniffer was actually drawn in Emoji Employee's kitchen? This is actually a pretty funny origin, considering that the person that had the sniffer in their kitchen was someone that had never made a Minecraft mod before, which is pretty cool. Camels actually have some pretty interesting concept art as well. For example, they were originally meant to look much different, with them having much different eyes, different feet, nose placement, mouth, and even having a butt. Anyway, subscribe and like if you enjoyed the video.